Inspired. Ideas Inspired Information Inspired. Podcast, powered by Loke Enterprise. Here's your host, Braxton Holly. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Ideas Inspire Information. And today we have with us... Janisa. Hey, Janisa, how are you? I'm good. How you doing? Doing well. Good, 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 good. So tell us about what you do. I am a physical therapist. Mm-hmm. So basically what a, what a physical therapist does is when somebody is hurt, um, we are there to help guide them through exercises or through other forms of interventions in order to get them better or get them to how they were before. It doesn't necessarily have to be an injury. We could be doing preventative things. Um, we're just, we're a guide for your body. Okay, okay. I like the way you put that. Guides. Cool. We're guiding cool. our way. Guiding our way to better health. Without getting too deep before we get in here, what mm-hmm. idea inspired your information? Um, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were making this, um, so initially when me and Braxton started uh, kind of developing plans for season two, we wanted to have like a general question that we asked all of our guests. And I came up with a paragraph. (laughs) (laughs) And Braxton came up with a sentence, and that was the sentence. What inspiration, uh, what idea inspires your information? So basically, really just like, what was like your drive? How did you come to this, where you are now, so to speak? So what what kind of spark led to your path to becoming a PT? Exactly. <laughs> um, I would say family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One, because it's a lack of knowledge um, in many communities but within my family I saw that there was a lack of knowledge about your own body Uh we have this the only body that you have and you got to make it through life with this body and Uh it's just a lack of information about what your body can and cannot do Um, and one example is my dad like he uh, he used to just injure himself for like no like he's had both knee surgeries like it's just it's just seeing that and seeing like going with him to his like um, physical therapy visits and seeing that yes you went from you know you hurt yourself and you can't move that knee or it was so painful to tolerate to be on to like you back to normal in a couple of weeks and it's like yeah. I like that. Okay, okay. It um, a lot of people like um, when they go into professions of medical professions, it's definitely always some sort of uh, family basis behind it. Something happened to them, or something happened to their family member, and they kind of want to change that for people going forward. So that's what's up. Because as you know, that's kind of why I started my business. Hey, for so if y'all don't know, Janice is my girlfriend. That's why we sitting so close together right now. <laughs> Um, future fiance that's on the way she waiting on it um, so yeah before I get too deep I just want to say watch your youth for these past few years like grinding it out doing your thing and achieving your goal has been so inspirational and I'm so proud of you and I just kind of want to put it on the airways now that watching you do that has made me more look at that smile has made me motivated to kind of go hard in my business or really now our business in joe fitness and um just you know the sky's the limit Thanks. we're gonna do it together we got it the show. yeah they're having a moment over there <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said dj what are what are your goals going forward with your pt what are you doing right now and, and how do you plan on uh, continuing to help not only the people that you work with and help, but like with your family and the knowledge that you have? So what do I have planned for the future? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, trying to get to a place where I'm not only helping 
people that I see in in person, but helping people that I don't see, that I don't know, to just, if anything, at the end of the day, research and learn so you can grow. It's only so much, like I said, I'm a physical therapist. We guide you. We can't fix you, but we do guide you. It's up to you to do the work. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I inspire somebody to do the work. If you want to learn more about a particular thing, you go, you, you research it, you look it up, you find out. You ask questions. You get X, Y, and Z resources. So it's all about not only what I do to help you or to guide you, but what you do for yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very nicely put. It's, yeah, definitely. And it's funny you say that because we were just about to say, like, the whole point of this episode is to kind of show or give insight to people who may be wanting, who may want to go into some sort of into PT or a doctor program in general, just kind of give them insight on to like what that looks like. Um, so with that being said, is there anything in particular, like one thing that sticks out in your mind that's like the number one thing that someone needs to know going into PT school, doctor program, college, just, you know, anything. Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. <laughs> you okay. have ups. You have downs. You mm -hmm. will pass a test. You will fill a test. You you are gonna struggle. You're gonna stress. You're gonna have so much anxiety built up. Shit happens. Mm -hmm. You learn from it. You grow from it. You get better at faking it till you make it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's that never stops. You, you go through school that way, you get out into your career, stuff happens. Mm -hmm. You learn from it, you grow from it, you get better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I understand that. With, like, I was talking to DJ earlier a little bit, and, I, and it kind of, it was, I was really, like, intrigued on the dedication you had because he was saying that you drove, like, from Birmingham to Montgomery um, each day for class. How was that? being able to go back and forth and then being tired and studying and like preparing to, you know, complete this transition. I, I looked at other people before me and also my classmates, like my classmates were a big inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't have to drive or anything. So they didn't have that struggle, but they, they came to class. They did the best that they could. Just, we had good days. We had bad days. But everybody always showed up. And we always had a sense of community. Like, we always cheered for each other. Um, and our saying while we were in school was 24 in, 24 out. It was only 24 that got accepted into the program. Mm -hmm. So we said all 24 was going to make it. We're going to make it through regardless. If you need help, I got you. So that was a big inspiration to me as other than family. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I had to make it. Yeah, definitely. I had to make it. That's yeah. good. That's good. And, that's um, special right there. That shows complete mm -hmm. commitment and dedication to Heck yeah. what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. uh, like That's special because like when you said like y'all kind of had that camaraderie built up and it was a family, not just classmates. I think that's another big thing that people need to look at when they're going into any kind of, like, if you're joining a gym, if you're joining a, a, a fitness online program, if you're joining a doctorate program, if you're going to college, research that stuff so that you can kind of understand what you're getting yourself into. Because not every school or doctorate program is going to be like that. You know, you're going to have some people that go to class, don't talk to you at all, and just take their tests, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So thinking back on the my undergraduate program i kind of wish that i would have did more research into that because a lot of times i felt like i was alone and kind of doing it on my own and i wish i would have had that camaraderie or that built-in support system with people that are going through it just like i am so heck yeah y'all looking at that if you're trying to better yourself and i think a lot of people <laughs> do that because they think um, it's not enough for everybody when really yeah. it's enough, more than enough right. for everybody. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to compete with me, your classmate, for mm -hmm. anything. 
I help you, you help me. When we get out, both of us will still have a job waiting on us. Yeah. Unless, like, we play some sort of sport, because, like, you know, we competitive around here. We don't lose. We don't lose. Okay. Um, I had a question about, so, like, during PT school, and even to now, um, was it more difficult to, I guess, prepare for, I guess, exams and learning everything you need to know, or is it difficult dealing with people on a day-to-day -day basis that are that may be, may be hard-headed, I assume, or difficult to work with. People are gonna be people, regardless. You you know, you go back to the country, like the Southern state, you know, just bless them, <laughs> bless them. <laughs> um, but I would say trying to study would probably be the harder of the two, because you have to, it's not just about studying and trying to learn the information, it's about learning yourself at that point. Um, because I went through a long, like my first year of PT school was like hard, just trying to learn who I was and the type of person that I was so that I could study. Mm -hmm. I had to change up my study habits like at minimum five times to get it right. That was so a stressful year for both of us. <laughs> so that I could understand like this is what I have to do in order to retain anything. Yeah. So it's like you got to like know yourself and learn yourself like to make it through mm. so it's, it's it's really a test to your to your mind for sure yeah. for sure it's mental it's like 70 percent mental yeah the other 30 percent is like actual learning yeah. I say that is a lot about a lot of stuff nowadays. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If, if, if you're not right with your head, I mean, we've been we've we've essentially talked about mental health for the exactly. last two weeks. So. Exactly. <laughs> if your head ain't right, <laughs> go holla at Purpose Joy. Rewind last week. And 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 the fitness fix. Exactly, and fitness fix. We've been exactly. talking about your 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 brain, your cranium. Mm -hmm. Should have been, you know, studied. Uh, Psychology. Brain, Psychology. brain scientism. Brain scientism. Yeah. What? I mean, I don't think that's technically what it's called, but we can make it up. They made the rest of them up. They show, yeah, actually, technically, when you think about brain it, everything, everything is made up. Yeah. Time is By made someone. up. Yeah. By somebody. Huh? By somebody. By somebody, yeah. yeah. Why what, not us? What if, what if they, it wasn't like hours? What if it was just day, night? Don, dust. Stuff. I think, like, probably before clocks, it was like that, bro. Yeah, like, you know the sun's up, all right, it's daytime. Like, I can look at my watch right now, and it says sunset is in four hours and 50 minutes. But if you didn't have that, you'd be like, mm, day's getting low. Sun's getting low, big guy. <laughs> 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 we Marvel fans out here, y'all. If you don't know. If you don't catch the reference, then yeah. don't even worry about it. And if you didn't catch the reference, it deals with the Hulk. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Braxton, I mean, I think... How y'all feel about that? We, go, we good? We gonna wrap this one up? You got any more information that would be helpful for the people? Something that would encourage Inspire. somebody to blossom to the flower? Mm. It's always It's always a good idea to invest in yourself regardless on what other people think or how other people feel it's your life you have to live it invest in you Invest in yourself. You can book it. You can book it. <laughs> oh, I got something. Hey, oh, my bad. So, I just be getting excited sometimes. So, uh, Janice and I have, like, kind of touched on this business venture that we have going on. Um, Joe Fitness is soon to launch our own uh, merchandise, apparel, fitness apparel. Yes, sir. Uh, that's coming out. Braxton has been a huge help in all of that. Just press buttons. And, um, and he pressed them buttons, but he pressing <laughs> the right ones at the right times. 
So uh, that's something that you might need to go ahead and write <laughs> down right quick. That's a quote right there. Hey, nah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you all that support us. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and continue yeah, to so listen. I don't um, have to say any of that anymore because DJ got it. I think I just kind of took his job a little bit. but Just hanging know, out now, guys. But, the you life. know, I feel like... The life. I just start talking sometimes, and I don't know what to say next, and I just say something. Hey, it's do y'all do so. bloopers? Huh? Do y'all do bloopers? One day. You should tell One day, me yeah. We're going to compile all this stuff. Well, I'll give you the information that he didn't. Thank you for tuning in <laughs> to this week's episode of Ideas Inspire Information with Janissa. Hopefully something that she said will be impactful and helpful towards you and your life. Until next week. Peace out. Peace. And that's why he is the one that does that. <laughs> I'm just third willingness relationship. <laughs> <laughs>